welcome to Pop and We Are in Tobago. I am Penny Gomez and welcome to Pop, Penny on Point with profiles on persons of interest. We're coming to you today from the beautiful Villa Carpathia in Tobago, compliments of the owner and the property managers, Rain Property Management and Real Estate Limited, one of the foremost companies in real estate in Tobago. This particular spread, spectacular, no other word for it. It's overlooking the Mount Irvin Golf Course. I tell you, it is absolutely a work of wonder. Okay. So this is the show where you get to know some of your favorite personalities a lot better. And we don't leave you out of the action. Just go online, check out our social media pages. We leave clues for you. If you guess who's coming on the show correctly, there is a prize with your name on it. So by now you probably know how it goes. I hear a doorbell. Let's see who's popped by. Hi, it's Minister Sham for Kojo. Welcome to Pop. Hi, Penny. Thank you for having me. Did you guess correctly? If you did, there is a prize with your name on it. We have a great show planned for you. I hope that you're ready to pop. I am ready All to right, roll. roll. <laughs> the Honorable Sham for Kojo. My, my, my. We are in your area. We, yeah, we made it to Tobago. <laughs> and um, it's truly beautiful. I think I'd forgotten the, how much of a paradise we have just across, you know, a, a short boat ride away, a short um, ride on Caribbean Airlines away. And I have missed it. It's so good to be here. Thank you for having me. Um, it's a pleasure to see you finally make your way to Tobago. Yeah. You're right in my backyard. Yeah. I live on the street. So even I didn't know all this uh, existed here Top at Hathia. this specific yes. house. Um, it looks so plain from the um, roadside. Well, so I'm um, happy for the opportunity to be here. Did you know that this house is where they filmed um, Westwood Park, wow. that famous local series? So we are in a bit of history here. Yes. Yes, and um, you have your own history, of course. Um, you know, you really rocked um, the landscape. When you came on and people heard you with such a bold, um, voice, confident voice, and you were so known for this debate and you really gripped us. And since that time, your life has changed. It's been a whirlwind practically. Yes. So talk to us about that in your life and, and tell us a bit about your journey because you're one of eight children. Yes, Mama Kocha was very busy. <laughs> so let's talk about that adventure. Oh, wow. Um, well, I'm the fourth of eight children. Uh, my mother is Wilma Warner Kojo mm -hmm. and my father is Jeffrey Kojo. He's deceased. Um, of course, it's eight of us, so I'm, I'm the fourth with four girls and four, four boys. Um, middle child syndrome. Middle child, of course. Middle child, of course. Uh, <laughs> I think that's where I got most of my personality from, from being the middle child. We're all one year apart. Mm -hmm. So I'm 40. The brother after me is 39. The sister after is 38. My elder sister is about 41, 42. Yes. So I never felt like she had the authority to s instruct me because you're only two years mm -hmm. older. So you gave trouble I always spoke child. up. Yes. I always spoke up and I felt like I am able to speak for myself and make decisions for myself. Why do I have to listen to Nikki? She's only two <laughs> years. She's not an adult, oh. you know? So, um, but I came from a family where we were taught to speak up, to be sure about who you are and be confident as to what you mean, mean what you say and say what you mean. So I, I was brought up like that. Um, How have the dynamics changed since you, because you're now a public figure. Yes. So of course, and a family, I, I'm t thinking if you're a year apart, that you're still fairly close knit. Oh yes. So how does it change with you being, a, any sort of dynamics change there? the closeness? No, we're all very, very, very close to the point that to some people it's sickening. But um, we, we, we need each other to survive. Yeah. That's how we were brought up. Even at this age, when we go out, we sort of cling to each other all the time. So um, that's how we were raised. We, there's no getting away from it. At the end of the day, my father always said, family is all you have. And really, people would come and go. Things would come and go out of your life. But at the end of the day, 
family is all you really have. So we, we, we take pride in family. Now that I'm a politician, I've been doing this for 12 years. This is my 13th year Imagine. as a politician. Yeah. And I didn't have plans to be a politician, but my family oh, well, okay. is very supportive. What would you have been doing if you weren't in politics? <laughs> Penny, if I tell you, I wanted to be a meteorologist. Really? When I was young, I used to see Gideon Hanuman sing. He uh, was the man. But he was wearing these boring shirt jacks. <laughs> I always said, I'm going to be a first female meteorologist at home. Fashionista. I am going to wear nice clothes. I couldn't stand Gideon in these uh, shirt jacks. But in, uh, when I was in sixth form, mm -hmm. I wrote an essay. My teacher encouraged me to write, uh, enter an essay writing competition. I entered and I won this opportunity to go on to a United Nations conference in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And I saw youth at work speaking up as it relates to youth affairs in their country. And I said, hey, I want to come back and make a difference in my country too. And I started in uh, Tobago Youth Council and worked with non-governmental, non-profit uh, youth groups. And I wanted to get a scholarship to go on to UWE to mm -hmm. do meteorology. But at that time, there wasn't any gate or there was dollar for dollar. There but coming dollar from a family, dollar if you don't dollar. have a dollar, you don't hear <laughs> where the other dollar yes. coming from. Yeah. So I, I, I did the SATs and got a scholarship to go out to the US. And I got scholarship in the area of international affairs. So I said, I have to change my interest and my direction to that area where I got money because my family didn't have the money. Mm -hmm. So I did international affairs, excelled at uh, Bethune-Cookman College in Daytona Beach, Florida. I think that school helped to mold me a lot because um, the students, the school family mm -hmm. helped to take care of me while I was there because I wasn't getting money from mommy, sending money anywhere. Yeah. I worked every um, summer and uh, I joined Delta Sigma Theta, which is a sorority. So those women helped to mold me So those are some lot. of your mentors? Yes, yeah, some of my mentors, of course, and very close friends to this day. But I always had this passion to return home. So I returned to Barbados to do my master's mm -hmm. at UWE in international trade policy. Mm -hmm. Then I interned at the IADB and at OAS. And I just, I got a job off at IADB and I, I turned it down. I said, I must go home. There is That's work for me to do. Yes. IDB, you know. Yes. And the money was good. In those <laughs> days, 4,000 US a month. Ooh. You're not paying any taxes. Yeah. That was good money. 4,000 US today. Yes. Yes. You'll take it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I uh, returned home and I didn't get a job as yet. So every Friday when uh, Mr. Orville London, then Chief Secretary, had public day, he used to see the public on a Friday. I would get up early and come up there with my resume to see him, to, to hey, I need a job. Was I came home to mentors? serve. Definitely one of my mentors because he came into power in Tobago right before I left for, for college. And it's not to say that I was deep in the party or anything like that. We grew up Rasta. So we didn't follow politics, really. As in, who grew up Rasta? You? Yes, you had I, I know. <laughs> wait, I started wait, the wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Did you have locks? No, my, my father's ra as Rasta. So the f right. ideology yes. is Rasta pretty much in the family. And my mother was Christian. Uh -huh. So we had a nice blend yeah. of both. Mm -hmm. So, um, But we were not pro-politics because mm -hmm. we were not trained that way. But I was very impressed when... Um, when Mr. Orville London took leadership in Tobago for the first time, the PLM was uh, showcasing itself and serving Tobago and giving Tobago new options and, 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 and granting new development to the people of Tobago. I liked the way that he took the time out to tell the story and to explain to us. So he took us with him along the journey, every single step of the way. So you never had to wonder what was going on. And he, he had a way of just telling you You're right. what's happening. You know, so I, I love that about him. And when I was leaving for college and he said, uh, he said to me, I, I went for a recommendation. I wasn't able to get money from the assembly, but he said, whatever you do, wherever you serve at the end of the day, be sure to give back to Tobago. So I mm. came back and I was at the store like, hey, I'm back. I, a job and I didn't get a job from him per se, but uh, one of his secretaries, assistant secretary, Mr. Frank Roberts, he had uh, 
a secretary who was going on maternity leave and she, I got the opportunity to answer phones. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, I'm with my master's degree. I came from working for 4,000 US and to answer phone at, but he has a start somewhere. I prefer to do that yes. than to be at home. And that introduced me to that atmosphere and, and, and people and networks. And I got to do research and showcase all that I have learned and been working on. And I was embraced in the PNM family. And I think from there, the rest is history. Oh, yeah, boy. Yes. Pretty much because I remember, um, you know, watching the news uh, after the, the, the first, when you were campaigning at the very first time, and people were like, who is this girl? <laughs> the speech was so powerful. And you became known for that. Mind you, you were ready to be a go speech ban and doing all that kind of drama thing. So, but, but here were people, people were seeing you as a fresh face. And I think that it was really appreciated. So just in terms of youth and, and how important it is to just make sure that we guide them mm -hmm. um, so that they understand opportunities and vision. And um, because, you know, community development, obviously, um, and culture and sport. At the end of the they, we as adults, as leaders, as parents even, we have to encourage children or young people to pursue their dreams and pursue what they want to pursue. Um, I'll tell you, even getting prepared for that speech, I had what I wanted to say. Yeah. Yes, and what I, I can't deliver a speech unless I really feel strongly about it. I write my own material. I research my own material. You can't get me to say something that I don't want to say. Mm. So um, whilst the traditional folks were saying, don't say that you're coming across as aggressive. You're... But I felt like, hey, this is five days before elections. A poll was done showing that the other party is in the lead. Mm. And you're telling me all this has happened in Trinidad and Tobago didn't see that and you're still choosing that party. It was my first yes. time getting the opportunity to speak in Trinidad mm -hmm. uh, on a political platform. Mm -hmm. So I was called at 11 o'clock that morning and asked to speak tonight. And I'm like, okay, what am I going to say? I just got to writing what I felt after reading the newspaper. And it was very well um, accepted by it the people on board. It was a Bonds resounding room. success. Yes. It was. And you certainly brought it. You definitely <laughs> did um, to that podium. But right now you are on the pop podium. Yes. So we're going to take a break. And when we come back, we're going to get into some more of who is Sham Fukujo. Stay tuned. We're back with the Honourable Sham Fakujo, Minister of Sport and Community Development, and she's telling us all about her wonderful life in Tobago. So tell me, speechwriter known for that, how do you prepare? I mean, I've seen that you can obviously do, a, do it very quickly, given you know, what you said before, but what goes into it? Reading. Mm -hmm. Prayers. Really? Yes, prayers, because um, it's not just about what I want to say is, I think it's also the message that I think God wants me to convey mm -hmm. to the people. Talking to my mother, my mother uh, was a development worker. Uh, she worked on a construction gang mm -hmm. at a department of work. So she's liming with the fellas on the street. She knows the ground. Little quiet, but talawa. And I would ask, mommy, was you talk around tongue? And she knows who's saying what. She has a good feel for the pulse of the people. And she say, well, they're saying this and they're saying that. You need to address this. You need to, you know, so talking to my mother, talking to people who are around, um, reading, praying, of course, because I, I don't ever want to use my platform to mislead or miseducate anybody. So the research uh, is always very important. If a topic comes up in the parliament and I don't know about it, I would choose not to speak on that until I do sufficient research. 
uh, speak when you have something to say rather than just to speak, you know? So um, I want to, my whole purpose in this when I entered, I wanted to show Tobagonians that you have to have a say in the national development. I wanted to show young people, especially young women, that politics is your business. The decisions being made in Port of Spain or in Scarborough, decisions being made in the parliament or in the Tichy, that's your business because yes. it's going to affect your life. And most importantly, I wanted to show poor people that you don't have to come from a wealthy family or where your mother is a doctor, a lawyer. You have something, my mother said, you have an English tongue in your head and you can go where you want to go and be what you want to be. So as long as you can read and understand, you have a say, you must have a say in these issues that affect your life. So oftentimes people in, who, who come from political backgrounds and, and, and families who have a strong history in it, they make you feel like, oh, this is something for us and you can't get in. Oh no, you have an English tongue in your head. Yes. You feel passionate about something. You do your research, you speak up and you speak out and you find yourself in places to defend your family, your country, your community and mind your business. The politics is your business. Get out there and have your say and nobody and nothing should stop you from that. Uh, when I entered, I was 28 years old. When I entered frontline politics, I was called to the Senate in June of 2010 and uh, the PLM was trying to pick between um, an older man and myself and there were people who said, she is too young mm -hmm. and uh, she doesn't have a long, strong history in the PNM. You're just picking somebody up out of nowhere and sending them to the parliament. And I said, okay, I'm going to show you that one, young people can do it, that two, people who came from anywhere can do it. We, we make people think that this is hard and, and, and draw this line as to, oh, you must be in this class or from this background. But at any point, yeah. mm -hmm. did you have any doubts? What, what were some of the low points? Uh, some of the low points. I did not walk in there and excel immediately. If I tell you that, I'll be lying. Uh, when I entered, this is my first time doing this kind of thing and I'm sitting next to Faris Alwari, Fitzgerald Hines, Big boys. Uh, Penelope Beckles. Mm -hmm. These are lawyers who have background in research and they have a good history in the politics. So at first I tried speaking like them and then I recognized I am here to be me and to speak to my people. So my business is to break this down so that young people can understand and the woman at home grating coconut to make sweet bread or preparing a fish and dumpling for her husband in Tobago, she must understand what I'm saying. So I started speaking to my people through the parliament. Fantastic. Now, tell me, Minister, you are the Minister of Sport. Let's stick with that first part. You can play any sports, though? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can. Uh, I went to Signal Hill, went to Signal Hill Secondary mm -hmm. now. Back then was Signal Hill Senior Comprehensive. Mm -hmm. I was a part of the girls' team. Well, that was when they now introduce uh, football to girls. Oh, okay. Uh, so you in play football. School. I tell you, Bishop's High School was beating us compre. Mm -hmm. And if Bishop's High School beating you in sports, you're terrible. So we were a terrible <laughs> girls team. I'm telling you, we were a terrible girls team at first. And I couldn't stand losing. I remember one time at Mount... What Mom position did you play, do you remember? I played defense. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, at one... Uh, Game in Mount Pleasant, Bishop hit us 8 nil. I was done after that. Yeah. Done. That was that, the end so I of that. I played tennis, lawn tennis in primary school because my mother always believed all her children must know a sport. She was an, an athlete. She used to run. She ran at Carifta Games. This, this so mommy sounds very her. impressive. I have to say, <laughs> so. I'm just loving you. So have you, though, um, being in the ministry, developed more of a passion and appreciation for sports? No. I run for, not competitively, I do 5Ks, I do half marathons and so on, right? Mm -hmm. I've done four half marathons before and I do these short races for my personal health and my well-being. When I was going through a divorce mm -hmm. in 2013, I felt like I was losing my mind and I just used to get out on and the road run. and run. And that would 
ease every Running stress. Yeah. So a major part of our programming in the Ministry of Sport is total participation and in sport, uh, encouraging Trinbegonians that everybody should have a sport, whether it's Scrabble, whether it's all fours, chess, ballroom dancing, all those are sports under the ministry. And uh, we push a very heavy female in sport. Pink, pink Rain campaign promoting women and girls in sport, where we do road racing, because that's my passion. And uh, we, we collaborate with the national governing bodies to teach women and girls different types of sporting um, activities and explore different sporting disciplines. So um, I'm, I'm really passionate about that. Mm -hmm. Now, you spoke about um, the, the weatherman. Mm -hmm. And you wanted to go in there and reinvent the whole look on the set. <laughs> and, and I could, I understand. I, I get it only too well. And the beautiful thing about you and even um, other ministers, the current ministers, is that you really have defined fashion when it comes to women in politics. So we do a segment on a show called Pop or Flop. Mm -hmm. And we want to get your take on it to see what you think of what we're presenting <laughs> okay. when it comes to fashion. Okay, are you feeling that? I saw the eyes open, so I'm feeling not. That's too Pop busy. or flop? Too busy. Flop. Too flop, flop. Mm -hmm. Okay, too busy. What about this? Pop. Because you know that being Minister of Sport, this is why we chose leggings, because there's okay. all this fantastic, <laughs> um, you know, the, the ath athleisure wear that they call it, and, the, right. and just leggings, and people have this whole fabulous brands. Yes. I think this so, is fair enough. What oh. about this one? Pop. Yeah, I, yeah, I like I that. Like I, could, yeah. I could rock that. What about this? Flop. It doesn't do anything for her body. No? No. Okay. Flop. Too busy. He wants to stand up on the golf course. Too. No, too, no? Busy. too busy. Too busy. Okay. Way too busy. But you can't miss him. <laughs> <laughs> what about this? Mm, Mac is my brand, but she's trying too much. She's doing too trying much. Trying too hard. Yeah, she's trying yeah. too hard. Okay. So that's a flop. Flop. What about this one? Pop, I like. I like. Yeah, I, yes. I, I like see the you strutting in that. Popping, I like that. Okay. I think that's too busy. I don't do busy. You can't have both items busy. Well, this is a bona fide uniform, okay? Yes, but, <laughs> but, team, but you, I don't you support like this it. one. Flop. Okay, flop. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yes. Pop, I actually this? like this. Yes. Okay. I yeah, like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about this one? Mm. Two space, piece, space each? Yeah, two space each. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you did well. You did very well. You know, unlike we always tell our guests, this is the easiest part of the show. You know, from here it just goes. Oh, wow. I'm so I hope bad. you're ready. But you know, you are the Minister of Sport and Community <laughs> Development. So if anybody can guess with the next segment, very easily it would be you. At least that's what we're thinking. I but hope so. you have to stay tuned to find out how Minister Kojo does. We're coming back with more on Pop. <laughs> Minister Shamfa Kojo in the kitchen in our pot to plate segment could not come to Tobago and not taste a blue food. Okay. Yeah, couldn't because you know how they boast about it and I love myself some blue food. So I want to know as a daughter of the soil, one of those eight children, if mummy Kojo taught you how to make blue food. So you have all the ingredients there set up to make sure that you um, deliver something that is worthy of Tobago pride. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, don't worry. I'm not going to leave you alone in this. I'm not. I did tell you about surprises, right? Yes, We did. have somebody who's going to come and assist you <laughs> to make sure that this is Tobago strong blue food. You ready for the surprise? Yes, okay, all right, let's see. And we're <laughs> welcome, <laughs> Dr. Williams. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank <laughs> you. Good to see you as well. Good to have you now. Zach Williams mm -hmm. um, is one of your first, he's on your first cohort of interns. Yes. And obviously, um, he said to me, you know, during that interview, that is when I think we really connected. And since that time, he's worked in your constituency office. Yes. Yeah. And I know that you have a passion, obviously, for, for youth. And we've been talking about that during the show. So we thought, why not have a youth Tobago? Excellent. Because, so check this, right? She was thinking that we would have some chef helping her to make blue food. 
But you know, we're turning it around because now as the elder, she's going to be teaching you okay. how to do blue foods. She let's thought she was see, getting away. Oh. So you are helping her with that, please, Zach. No problem at all. Um, so everything is there before you. Your dashing, your green fig, your seasonings, your, your, your yam, sweet potato, um, pimento, um, parsley, etc. And across here, you have other spices, your frying pan. So um, I am tasting. My rule here is easy. Mm. You know, so I mean, we want the commentary, please. We want the commentary because you're telling people at home how to do it in case they don't know. So let's make it to big or strong and proud. I'm going to step out and come back. Let's go. Okay. Ready. We're so cooking. we're making one pot or two pots? One. One. I'm thinking one, exactly. two. Right? Exactly. So, this, this is easy. This, this, is, yellow, this is yellow. This one. What is this? Okay, this is, this is sweet potato. Okay, cool. This is yam. Nice. This is uh, parsley. This is uh, flavor pepper. This onion. is onion. Right, right? right. This is dashin, garlic. Mm -hmm. um, what is this one here? Parsley. We'll find out. Oh, five. Mm -hmm. What's this one? We'll this is fine out. time. Fine time. I know me way around the kitchen a little, you know. <laughs> as much. Make a little oats and cornflakes and... Zach, I've seen your WhatsApp. Um, <laughs> Instagram. And your Instagram. Yeah. I don't think... I didn't have much confidence when you walked in the room. Wow. But I'm being honest with you. I, I saw wow. you having problems... On Instagram with your cooking. Wow. But it, it, since that you've seen this dish before, I forgot what they call it. All right, so you're also, so you're dicing it. You're trying to keep everything the same size because you want it to be smooth. Mm. I feel mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. to be a good iron chef here. Yes. <laughs> I think next blue food, we need to have a tent. We need to have our own tent. Right, Zach and Shamfa. Blue food tent. Blue food tent. <laughs> <laughs> Actually excited to see you in the kitchen. Normally I would see you in the office, you know, sitting behind the desk. Now I see you behind a pot. We hope for the best. Well, Zach, I am accustomed to this. I am more concerned about you based on what I've seen on Instagram. <laughs> um, yeah, so when you see it start bubble. to bubble, right. you see a thing or two in the kitchen, a thing mm. or two. Pot on the fire by Zach and Champa. For sure, for sure. Blue food 2022. <laughs> Outside. Outside. <laughs> right, so you don't want it to overcook. You want it to get soft enough because you're making it like a kind of mash. I forgot what you call this thing, you know, but you don't want it to overcook. Yes? You right. add... It's smelling nice already. I'm telling let me, you. Let me clean up a bit. <laughs> That's so you well. smell that dark? Oh. Wonderful. I'm ready to eat already. Penny and the whole crew. Going to Staying into the this, this is it here. This is it. Right. right. What you can do now is now uh -huh. add I need a teaspoon. Uh, uh -uh. I don't trust you with. Whoa, no, whoa, you just whoa. had it. I will throw it in. <laughs> I'm bossy on this one. I wow. <laughs> a little black pepper. Right. Just to add a little flavor. Now, the, you don't have to do too much on this because the natural herbs already giving you a nice... Nice sting. Yeah, you could smell that, right? Mm. Okay. So this is Zach and Shampa provision pop. And the pop stands for penny on point. Right. Meaning that we created this <laughs> recipe on the penny on point show. Mm -hmm. It is going to be a special dish at the 2022 Blue Food event. Mm. You could have this with salt fish. You could have it with a nice curried fried fish. You know the way they fry the fish and then put it in the sauce. You can have it with crab, stew goat, no, curry goat even, stew chicken. This will go down good with a nice yaddy. You thought you set me up by bringing Zach. <laughs> Zach is the man for the job. Ah, for sure, for Zach sure. Zach is the man for the job. 
So uh, I think that's it. I hear my name calling plenty <laughs> out there. How are we looking at Look at it. Fantastic, no. guys. I have to tell you. Really smells good. So time for plating. Eh? Okay, hurry up, guys. I can't wait to taste this. Is this is no soya bean oil. This is coconut oil. Just like grandma taught you. Mm. You know what? It has a vibe. Sorry, it has you. a vibe. I'm telling you. Well done. Mm -hmm. And you can taste the fresh spices and mm -hmm. the celery and parsley and onion. And that's the best part about it. Everything tastes so fresh and earthy that... All right, take one. For Zach. sure. She was a teacher, good mentor. Excellent, excellent. Excellent. I'll have to meet this when I get home. I'm filming on Instagram. For sure. And, and Zach, while you enjoy your blue mm. food pop over there, provision pop, right? just tell us what is um, one of your um, special memories of Minister. Hmm. The special memory I have was actually at the internship interview, mm -hmm. right? Um... She asked me a question. She was on the panel, actually. Mm -hmm. And she asked, if the chief secretary was here now, what is one thing you would tell him about the development of Scarborough? So to bring a little humor, so I can think while they laugh, I said, okay, I always wanted to talk to the chief secretary. I always wanted to... And they laugh. But I actually trying to formulate something mm -hmm. in my head. A smart man. Move to buy yourself time. Exactly. <laughs> and the last day of the internship, Guess who walked in the room? The chief secretary. <gasps> I was like, what? <laughs> and yeah, so I want. I really enjoy that memory. Um, yeah, on that day, that Be was wonderful. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah, I actually just said it for humor. Yeah, and just turned into something real. Yeah, so yeah, that was a wonderful memory. Yes, and um, mm. this is fantastic. And I see this going places. Yes, I think so too. I yeah. think so too. Yeah, I think so too. And do you know who else is going places? Um, the person who is in my pennies picks this week. Um, on each of the shows, I really try to dedicate a carve out some time to just um, looking at something, highlighting something. It could be a book, it could be uh, music, it could be movie, something, an interaction that's really touched me. And I want to say that. I absolutely adore, because we're in Tobago, hey, we're rocking it Tobago style. <laughs> I want to say that I really appreciate Positive, the gospel artist. I actually know he's one of your favorites one as well, too. One of my favorites, yes. Based in Trinidad, but all Tobagonian. You know, very much so his heart is really here. So I want to highlight him and his music. I think that he is really a blessing to Tobago and Trinidad, and he can be to the world, and we should be so very proud of him. So well done, son of Tobago soil. Yes, congratulations. He's been doing really amazing work um, throughout Trinidad and Tobago and up the islands yeah. too. Uh, Positive has also been a mentor mm -hmm. in our 40 Under 40 program where we yeah. go out to schools and mm -hmm. interact with young people mm -hmm. and in our Empower program where we help to develop young men in their personal and professional lives. So he volunteers a lot, and that's what I like about him. He gives back alongside the music. It's positive. Minister, again, we on this trajectory here. Right. We on this trajectory. I hope you're ready. <laughs> I hope you're ready for it. We'll be putting it to work in the next few segments. So stay tuned. There's more coming your way on Pop. Back from break, and I am hanging with Minister Sham for Kojo, who is about to face what we call rapid fire. Just a word association game. Tell okay. us, you know, your answer. What is your first response to this? Are you okay. ready? Okay, okay, I let's am. go. Football or cricket? Football. Okay, I would have been disappointed if you said cricket because you said you were, you know, <laughs> defender, right? In effect, live band or DJ? DJ. D really? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, DJ. okay. Curry crab and dumplings or curry crab and provision? Curry crab and provision. Again, I would have been disappointed because it just made me <laughs> to put food there. Okay. iPhone or Android? iPhone. I cannot find an Android. What's going mm -hmm. on, lover? Okay. Indoor gym or outdoor workout? Outdoor workout. Mm -hmm. Okay. WhatsApp message or are you going to offer a phone call instead? WhatsApp message. I suppose a phone call. That generation, yeah. 
Benny ball or Benny stick? Benny ball. That's a Tavigonian answer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Beach or pool? Beach. Sunrise or sunset? Sunrise. And answer this question, please, for all the viewers. You're going up Trinidad or you're going down Trinidad? Down Trinidad. Down Trinidad. Yes. So this is like a Trinidad <laughs> thing that we say we're going, if you're in Trinidad, you say in Tobago, you're going up, up Trinidad. Up Tobago. You're supposed to say you're going but, up Tobago. Yeah, and that's the thing. I think yeah, we need to clarify that nationally. <laughs> Boat or plane? Plane. Plane? Yeah. Mm. Sugar cake or tulum? Definitely sugar cake. Yeah, I'm a sugar cake girl. The brown one, not the colored one. No, really, I like yeah, the white the old one. Brown one. The old brown one. The old brown one. That's With really... With chunky pieces of coconut in it. Yeah, that is hardcore sugar cake lover. Yes, mm -hmm. that's really sugar cake. Cat or dog? None. <laughs> that is not an option. <laughs> none. But okay. if I were to choose between the two, it would definitely be dog, but still none. None. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Horseback riding on Buku or jet ski on Pigeon Point? That's hard. Yeah. That's hard. But jet ski on Pigeon Point with Alex from Waterholics. Hey, hey, Alex from Waterholics. Yes. It gets true. <laughs> <laughs> Curry goat or pet goat? Curry goat, definitely. With provision and plenty sauce. And plenty sauce. I noticed that Blue Food didn't have any sauce just now. Was that like a thing? The sauce is usually with the meat. Oh, right. You have an answer for everything. <laughs> Flip flops or high heels? High heels. High heels, yeah, to, to make the, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Treadmill or Savannah Run? Savannah Run, definitely. Savannah Run, okay, good, well done, all right. Now we want to do something what we call the funny speech challenge because you went to Bego Speech Ban. <laughs> to be quite frank, Everybody say I was in speech but band. But there's a whole video on YouTube. Band. I wasn't in speech band, you know. No, I observed it. I, I, I come from Bethel Village, and I went to Montgomery Government School. We speechify. We, we, we play that at break time. But I've never been in a formal speech band. I just like the art form a lot, but I've never been in a speech band. Well, you know what? That just means it comes very natural <laughs> to you. And just pretend now we have to in school. So let's do it now. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to give you um a, a few topics and you just have like 30 seconds to create a little speech on it right so three scenarios first one you are team sugar cake and we got it right because you are sugar cake you chose that over tulum in a battle between sugar cake and nut cake what do you say to your team to motivate them to win and be the best local confectionery your team sugar cake going against nut cake. Motivate your team in a oh, battle. Okay, well, firstly, sugar cake is made with coconut, and coconut has uh, good fats and uh, better nutritional value than nut cakes, which are made with peanuts, and uh, peanut is not the most favorable or most nutritious nut. So coconut has a winning edge. Go coconut. I feel you pulled that one out from very far. I, I won't say how far, but I, I think that one was pulled from very far. Okay, next one. Your football side is playing in a final. Your two goals down, but five minutes to go. What do you tell them in the last locker room huddle before they go out? Let's say your 30-second motivational speech to them. It is not over until you win. Play with all you've got support the other players, and go hard or go home. Go hard or go home. Okay, yes. proud about that one. <laughs> All right, we can accept that one. All right, this one here. Your goat is entered in the Tobago goat race, and last year, you came second. This year, you want to take the title. Yeah, we understand that. Let's hear your 30-second speech to your goat, your contender. What's the goat name? Give the goat a name. Go, Billy! Go, 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 go! Run, Billy! Run, go, Billy! <laughs> Billy said I could be wrong, that's but all, I don't think that's... That's all Billy's gonna I, get. I, I, I don't see the, the, the... I don't see you taking oh, that actually, title. actually, let me tell you something. It's not sharing the goat that makes the goat go fast. Okay. It's that month's of practice of you running with the goat. So I don't even have the opportunity to say, go, Billy. I need to be running oh. with Billy. 
You know, you know, Minister, things on pop have a way of just manifesting. So you never know, you know, we might get to actually see that in action. I'm telling you. You actually, yeah, we may be putting that to the test to see if that is actually true. We should ask for a special race at the next goat race event. Okay, we should. I'll challenge I, you. Uh, you know what? I'm all about challenges. Bring it on, Bring sister. It on. Bring it Bring on. on. <laughs> well done. Well done. Paps. No problem. No problem. Okay, fine. So... Um, last game of this kind. Guess the song. Guess the song. Because last also, game. Yes, last game of this particular segment. Mm -hmm. It's called Guess the Song. Okay. Um, because you are, again, community development. Mm -hmm. And Best Village falls under your... So I know that, you know, you will have a love for culture. You're laughing. You're scared. I'm going to give it my best shot. Give it your best. Yes. yes. Okay, fine. So... Um, let's go. Let's see if you can identify the song. We are going to play it and then you have to tell us what it is. I'm a super warrior. <laughs> we didn't think you would get it. Oh, I'm well going to well get it. I'm going to try Well done. All. Well, oh, all right. Let's go. Song number two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. That's it. That's it. Rally! 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 Okay. Alright, let's go with the next one. For those of us who love the beautiful game, we know what this is. That's, little operatic uh, thing in there. FIFA, football, background music. UEFA Champions League. Close enough, yes. people. Take that. Take win with that. Next one. DJ Bravo. DJ Bravo. DJ Bravo. Bravo champion. champion. Yes. Champion. Well done. Well done. <laughs> All right. Let's go with this next one. Uh, They're wicked, eh? Uh, that is uh, Shakira. That is a. Uh, mm, 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 mm. It's time for Africa. That's when they had um, World Cup in South Africa. That was the team song. She's looking for an, an A plus, waka, okay? Because waka, I didn't hey, expect hey, all of that in background. Nah, nah. All right, take the A plus. Take the A plus. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next one. Some TV show. <laughs> because, hey, it has to be a TV show. Because you don't know it is a TV show. <laughs> yeah, you sure? I'm giving you a clue. I'm giving you a clue. Na, 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 na. Rocky. No. She's like, yeah, if, it, if you didn't hear it, it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. But, okay, but it's Rocky. Sorry. Next, go to the next one. How do you know that and not know Rocky? I'm disappointed with that. Okay, and this is the last one. We will rock you. Well done. Well done. Okay, you got some star points. You got some star points. Okay, so Minister, um, this is, yeah, these were just some word games and associations. But you can't come here and be Minister of Sport and we cannot see how you do in our pop Olympics. So oh stay tuned, we're coming back with oh that. My. Yeah, get ready to see Minister. <laughs> she likes speed, we give her speed. Coming back with more on pop. <laughs>
and spoon because being a bagel, hello, is bagel special. So are you ready? This is not just ready. an ordinary dough, Benny, Benny and spoon. This is the version, the red light, green light, yeah, version of it. So I believe we have our, our, our games mistress down there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So Kimmy, when you are ready. Red light, green light, one, two, three. Red light, green light, one, two, three. <laughs> I'm just sucking at these games today. I do not know what's going on. Out. Um, uh, <laughs> out. All yours, Minister. All Red light, green light, oh one, two, three. <laughs> oh my, so who am I competing against? Go ahead, let's do it. Red light, green light, one, two, three. Red light, green light, one, two, three. Red light, green <laughs> <laughs> Okay, take win, take win. <laughs> Jeez, I need to redeem myself in the next one, hopefully. So um, we're setting up and this one is, again, something to do with, because we are overlooking the Mount Irving golf course, we thought we would do something that would incorporate a little bit of golfing, but the pop way. So let's just get the golf clubs as we, as we go back to the starting line. Minister, here's you. And these are called putters, is it? Mm. Right, so these are the putters. First person to score three first. So we'll take turns. Okay, silly question. So this is like a right. Okay, so, right. It's, it's this way, right? We have a resident golfer here. So is this the right way to do this, Jono? Yeah. Right. Okay. You know what? Because, because we're gracious here on the pub, I'm going to let the minister go first. Oh. <laughs> and since she won the first, the first event in the Pop Olympics. While I do my golfer's pose. All right. Best of three. And you're off. Okay, well, that was a miss. All right, let's go. That was a miss. Almost there. No, yeah, but, but, but you know, you have to admit, though, <laughs> that was uh, an almost there. <laughs> Almost done. And almost oh. there. I get points for that. <laughs> All right. So, so far, the score is nil, nil. Let's go, Minister. And it's a miss. It's a miss. <laughs> All, right. All right. Penny for the win. Penny and Pop for the win. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> this is not looking good. This is the final. This is the final. Oh, my. Bring it all. Bring it all. <laughs> Woo! Okay, then. Can I do this? Can I do this? I I'll, find this I'll find my line one. further back than Minister Zone, <laughs> Mr. Producer. Jono, any tips before I do this? Yeah, head down. Head down. Head down. Head down. Oh, my. Oh, <laughs> okay, so that was, um, let's call it a draw. Nil, nil. A draw in this category, but overall. Oh, she's, yeah, yeah. Overall. <laughs> overall. Overall, you've won. And you yeah, know what? Take yeah, one. Yes, fine, yes, fine. I'll just walk away dejectedly here now as we make our way to the next one, which is... The finale, the goat race. You <laughs> spoke so much about it. Let's see how you really do face with Billy himself. I'm ready. That's right. Ready Let's to go. Pop. Let's ready go. Ready to pop. <laughs> and um, this is the highlight, the, the, the ultimate moment of the Pop Olympics. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay. Ready well, to pop. I am. I am. And, and let's see who has this cup. Ah! Oh <laughs> Anthony Hosford. Oh, Mr. Hosford, how are you? I'm fine, myself. Tobago's finest. I thought we <laughs> were friends, Mr. Hosford. Mr. Hosford, <laughs> listen, this is a good looking um, <laughs> Mr. Goat. Billy? No, he has a special name for what I understand. Silver Sun. Silver Sun. Silver Sun. Silver Sun. So, wow. so, so, Minister, you gave me a lot of chat. You chatted. Look, look, he's not. Silver Sun is nervous. He's nervous. Silver Sun is nervous. No, he's just excited to see <laughs> More us. More nervous than I am. <laughs> he's, lovely lady. he's just excited to see us. That's all right. But Minister, you gave me a lot of, of, of lip inside there. 
You that's challenged me to all kind of races up in here. So well, this that is was her. for next year. Yeah, so no, race, on pop, we don't do it like that. No, we catch the moment. <laughs> we seize the moment on pop. So this is Silver Sun. And um, so this is what is going to happen. There's another one yeah. outside. So should I hold Silver Sun? Anyone, yeah. Okay, so. Which one is your first? Oh, oh dear. So. <laughs> Silver Sun. So, right. Okay, so. <laughs> you, Melissa, do you want to hold Silver Sun? I think you should hold Silver Sun. I'll go with the other is one. Is there another I'll, option I'll besides the Silver now. Sun? Because suddenly, so these horns about this. Oh! I think you should have Silver horns Sun. Not, no, they won't, you won't challenge me. I, I find he's like bending a lot. No, no, no. He's not, he's not challenging. He's good. Should I go behind him? No, just come right here. Just come right here. You know, those two little those ones come out. I see ones. some little ones come in there. What if we go with those? Yeah. And I yeah. want a big one up front. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I'll take the, the, the dark one. I'll, I'll take, the one I'll take one. whitey. Right. Yeah. And these have names? Yeah. Okay, so let's, I'll take this one here. Because I, f I find Silver Sun is eyeing me. <laughs> so I'll take this one. <laughs> I'll take this one. He's having a good laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. And I'll take this one. Oh, good Lord. Oh, <laughs> hello. Oh, yeah, train. Like he's pulling away from me. This is not good. Yeah, train to, he's a train to run to? Yeah. He's oh, not, he's not happy Lord. with me. So, Minister, you know all that lip that you gave me? So, <laughs> and you said you would encourage your athletes and maybe gave you a scenario for goat, for goat race. Mm -hmm. This is now, oh, wow. it's in action. This is your contender. What's, what's my goat's name? Jetta. And what's my goal? Feeling the vibe. Ladybird. Jetta I versus Ladybird blowout. Okay. Is there some, so, some things we are supposed to do and not do? Rules, guidelines, like not to tug on his neck? Yeah, because I, I, well, I you, think that well, Jetta is not happy not be with able to run it as fast How as do you make could. him run? How do you make him run fast? They will run. They will run because will, you can't run I've, fast. I think they want to run away from us. Like Just something let I should do? Like something I should do? Jetta is trying to get away from me. Oh God, Ladybird. 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 Ladybird and Jetta have a thing. I know, right? Is there like a thing with them? Mr. Horsford? Is there like a thing with Jetta and Ladybird? Yeah, they 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 are stable mates. They stay together all the time. Oh, they look very close. Okay. So they did Inseparable. Right. So this is a challenge, Minister. So let's let's yeah, this let's go this way. Yeah. So this is a challenge. We have to address our contenders. And Mr. Horsford, I uh, maybe you can handle Silver Sun. Yes. Uh, we have to address our contenders before the race, give them their pre prep. Okay. Their pre prep talk. Mm -hmm. And then we do the race. And the race is just up how far is it, guys? From right there to right here. Just right there to right there, right. Okay. <laughs> and then we we do it. And there's a trophy somewhere. Um, and this is the, we've saved this for the very last. So, Trinidad and Tobago. Here we go. Yeah, Penny versus hey, need to focus. Lady Shamfer. <laughs> so, you go. You can go with your speech to your contender, and then I'll go with mine. Lady Bird, <laughs> I'm going to need you to focus. Leave Jetta alone. This is time to race. And we are going to run, and we are going to win. So, come on, come on. Cooperate. Cooperate. <laughs> Lady Bird. <laughs> okay, the sacrifice is only for a bit. Only for like one minute. You'll get back to Jetta after. Come, baby. All right, come. Okay. Lady Bird. All right, so I'm ready. I'm ready. Wait, Jetta. Wait, wait. Jetta. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. Focus. 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 We have this, Jetta. We have this in the bag. Let's blow them out of the water. Let's take this trophy. Are you ready? Are you ready? We prep for this, Jetta. I know you can do this. Are you ready? Let's go. Yes! Again! Okay. Two times in a row! Alright, let's two get the trophy! Let's get the trophy! You know, we, 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 um, on top, we are very gracious towards our guests, I'll just uh -huh. say. We're very gracious. Um, you know, I think I'll, let's just call it a photo finish. Well, you see, I've been doing this for quite some time. As a, no, I've been doing this for quite some time. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, you accepted the trophy Yes, graciously. I'm accepting the trophy So it was, the, it was like a And I can tie. even offer to train you. <laughs> and thank you so much, Mr. Horsen. Please come in here. Thank you so very much. We were very patient. We wanted to surprise Melissa because the whole show she talking about goat race. Did not know there was a goat, goat race. You are a big part of the Buku goat race. Yes. I love going to it. Um, what keeps you just so motivated and excited about that race? Well, it's um, the go-to racing is something special to Tobago people. 
it's like the um the four man horse race we call it. Mm -hmm. So we look forward for that kind of event once a year, and Boku is the main time for goat racing. Yeah, and how many um goats do you have in your stables? My stable have four goats. Four goats, yeah. prize goats, eh? Yeah, very it's much. One, you're, you're not you've been in winners' row lots of times. Yeah, many times, many, many times. Many times, yeah. and I expect to see your name there. Um, even more often in the future. Yeah. So thank you, Minister, taking home her trophy. She happy yeah, about well. it. You know, hey, I'll just have to walk away dejectedly. <laughs> Jetta needs to be renamed. I'm just saying. <laughs> needs to find a new name. That's all. Okay. All right, guys. It's been great having Minister Shamfa Kojo on Pop. She's leaving with a trophy. Many of our guests don't, but she certainly has earned it. I still think that Lady Bird used her... Um, her, her, her wiles, <laughs> her lady wiles on Jetta, I'm just saying. But Minister, take win. Take win. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Penny, for coming to Tobago and doing this with us. It's been a, a pleasure being yes. on your show. And uh, may we return next year where you try to get your trophy She's not letting us go. She's not letting us go. <laughs> Let us go before next year she challenge me to blue food. Um, cook up, please, guys. <laughs> guys, see you very next time on Pop. Bye.